a couple of obvious reasons why this is absurd. First, history simply argues the contrary. Uh, there have been many revolutions in science where a dominant theory repla was replaced by a, a radical upstart theory, uh, and not one of them ever needed an affirmative action strategy. Not one of them had to be put into public school science classrooms in order to help them recruit. Uh, Alfred Wegener, who does, uh, came up with the continental drift theory, didn't demand that his views be put into public school science curriculum in order to overcome the hidebound orthodoxy of his fellow scientists. He just got to work and kept, uh, kept studying, kept refining his explanations. Uh, you know, his view was at one point the, the upstart new kid on the block, uh, and now it's the old theory yelling at the kids to get off his lawn. You know? And he didn't need an affirmative action strategy to do this. Secondly, think of the implications of this argument. He doesn't attempt to argue that ID, among all of the vast sea of fringe ideas in science, is uniquely in need of this. He said all fringe ideas in science are in need of this. Um, so his argument logically requires that the same thing be done for the geocentrists, the flat earthers, the hollow earthers, the realians, the pyramidians, the UFO cults, you know, everybody. We're, we're going to put all of these ideas into public school science classrooms to you know, help them recruit future scientists. To call this idea lunacy is probably to be a bit too kind. To say that the trial didn't go well for the defense uh, is probably needless to say. On the last day of the trial, as the closing statements were wrapping up, Patrick Gillen of the Thomas More, Thomas More Law Center said to the judge, it's an interesting coincidence, judge, that this is the trial had taken 40 days and 40 nights. And Judge Jones responded, that is an interesting coincidence, Mr. Gillen, but it was not by design. By the end of the trial, it was obvious that we were going to win. The question is, are we going to win little or are we going to win big? Uh, winning little would mean a very limited ruling saying that the school board had clearly acted with a religious purpose uh, and therefore it was unconstitutional. Uh, winning big means a ruling on the merits of ID itself, on the, on the, on the nature of ID itself. It's not a, a scientific theory. It's a religious idea wrapped up in scientific sounding language. And that's what we got. We won as big as we could possibly win. The day that ruling came out, at probably 7.30 in the morning, I got the first phone call, which was from Rob Pennock, who had heard from the lawyers, we won big. It'll be out shortly, and the ruling will be out shortly. And the rest of that day, I was spent on the phone with people calling, going, are you reading this? <laughs> this, this could have been one of our briefs. You know, it was a spectacular decision that we won in every possible way. The reaction to the ruling has been predictable and amusing from the other side. Uh, the first thing they said was, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Judges don't decide science. Whatever happens in a courtroom, I, the future of ID depends on these hundreds of scientists, the growing number of scientists who are on our side. You know. But uh, having said that they didn't think it mattered much, they've still spent the last 15 months throwing everything they possibly could at this ruling, every accusation. It took about you know, eight seconds for Judge Jones to be, go from being a conservative good old boy to being a radical liberal a judicial activist out to destroy America. Um, the other outcome of the case, though, is that the plaintiffs got paid. That's a check for one dollar. Part of, part of the uh, strategy of the case was they didn't want it to get mooted which is a legal term, and so they asked for damages, one dollar for each plaintiff. So the 11 plaintiffs each got a dollar. That's Tammy Kitzmiller's dollar hanging on the wall of her house. I think Wes took that picture, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> so that's how the case ended, and that brings phase three of the anti-evolution movement to a close. So now the question is, will they go extinct now? And the answer is no. Uh, phase four has already begun. And phase four uh, is based on ideas like um, critical analysis of evolution. Now they say, we don't want intelligent design taught. We just want critical analysis of evolution taught. Only evolution, mind you. They don't want critical analysis of the germ theory of disease or the kinetic theory of gases. Only evolution comes in for this special treatment. The other thing that they like to say now is, we want the arguments for and against evolution taught. Those are their sort of two standard phrases now. Now, mind you, intelligent design theory isn't a theory at all. It's just a collection of anti-evolution arguments. So when they say, we don't want ID taught, we just want the arguments for and against evolution taught, what they mean is, we don't want ID taught, we just want ID taught. 
So just a tautology. Extinction, I'm afraid, is simply too much to ask from the anti-evolution movement, and I suspect we'll be battling this for who knows how long to come. Here's the other thing that happened with Dembski was that he had put in an expert report on there, but then pulled out just before his deposition. And, uh, and so the Discovery Institute ended up um, filing uh, a brief in the case. They weren't part of the defense team, but they did file a brief in the case, which included the entire expert report that Dembski had written. And the judge refused to accept it in the case because he said, you, you put the expert report in there, but he wouldn't testify on it, which means you're trying to get what he said into the, into the record of the trial without being cross-examined on it. Can't do that. So yeah, we have a, a lot of fun uh, poking fun at Dembski um, and have had over the years. So. I, I just wonder why you think that uh, phase three is over and phase four is beginning because I keep still seeing things. Um, American United for separation of church and state keep uh, publishing things about we're defending against uh, intelligent design. They just did something in Howell, how school district was trying to get intelligent right. design in. Right. So I guess I wonder why you think phase four is beginning and when, phase when three I say, is over. When I say that one phase is ending, another one beginning, that just means they're putting a new label on it is all it means. Uh, the, the, the activity is the same. It's, you know, to use the biblical metaphor, they keep pouring old wine into new skins. Um, and all they do is change the labels. Um, and so we're just into a new rhetorical phase is all we are. Uh, the, the ideas aren't going to go away. So. Yeah. To add to your phase four, I uh, want to know what your comment is on uh, the avoidance. I teach in public schools, and we just avoid it altogether, oh, yeah. especially beyond bi biology. Yep. Don't counter any arguments. There was a survey done of uh, a national science teaching organization, and Greg may know about this, uh, with his involvement with science teachers, but there was a, a survey done not too long ago that showed that a staggering percentage of high school biology teachers don't even talk about evolution. That they're just, it causes so much controversy, they get phone calls, you know, you're teaching atheism, you're gonna send my child to hell, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so a lot of teachers just avoid it. And so they don't talk about evolution at all. They might talk a little bit about change over time, you know. But mostly they avoid it. And even where the ones that don't avoid it, and we were talking about this at dinner earlier, we spend so little time in most public school science classrooms in biology, even in AP biology, talking about evolution. I mean, it, it gets maybe a week in an entire semester uh, that they get of real discussion of the theory of evolution and the, and the lines of evidence that support it. So we have a real problem with the way we teach uh, evolution in this country in science classes. We don't teach it nearly enough. We don't teach it nearly well enough. We don't spend enough time on it. And part of the problem is that those of us who are active in this fight to protect it is we're so busy putting out fires because the, the anti-evolution movement is so aggressive and so well-funded that you know, we just spend all of our time trying to keep them, you know, the gates closed to keep them on the outside. Um, there are some things going on. And Greg Forbes, who I know, you know works with your group, has a great project. He's part of the Evolution Education Initiative. Uh, he's the head of that. And, and what they do is teach science teachers how to teach science, how to teach evolution. Um, and that's a hugely valuable program that I, I wish would be replicated nationwide and, and if I wish there was grant money available for it because we, we can't spend all of our time on the negative stuff, you know, fighting the, the battles. At some point, we've got to get down to the serious task of improving science education uh, and making sure that people understand it better, the phenomena. Now, I have a friend in, in England who is a Baptist minister who's just baffled. He just can't believe that anybody would question evolution. It's a Baptist minister, you know, and he just can't believe in England that, that you know, there would be any question about this, even in Protestant churches, you know. Um, it is starting to go international. We're starting to see uh, a lot. Uh, England just started up a big pro-intelligent design group um, there, and so they're, they're getting more aggressive in other countries, too. There's not a lot we can do about that, but, but yeah, it is definitely moving international, and other countries are going to have to start dealing with the same thing. I, I don't think it'll ever have the, in most other countries, I don't think it will ever have the kind of um, strong support that it does.